What it do, what it do, is 903 Boxing, I'm your host, Charles J. Okay, uh, thank you to all my subscribers, uh, thanks to everybody that's been watching me, uh, smash that subscribe button, uh, and when you do, hit the bell icon, it will notify you when I drop more content, bro. Yeah, we dropping them real fast, uh, yeah, this is part three, uh, yeah, I don't think I covered enough, uh, yeah, I was just gonna do two, but I'm gonna do three, cause yeah, I was getting on Linux and Riddick Ball, so yeah, let's get back to the shit. Okay. I said that I think Lennox Lewis was a better boxer than Riddick Bow, and yeah, I think his jab better, and yeah, he got a good clinch game, yeah, I love the uppercut, and yeah, but, but, but nah, bro, um, uh, yeah, um, I, I think the punch that, that, um, is, is the punch that would change the fight, uh, I think Lennox Lewis starts out outboxing the shit out of Riddick Bow. Uh, Riddick Bow would have a lot of trouble. Uh, and plus, Lennox Lewis has a very good clinch game, and he can smother you. Uh, and I think probably for the first couple rounds, he's going to outbox him. Uh, but it's a punch that uh, Lennox Lewis has always been success susceptible to. And yeah, uh, it's the overhand right. I don't know if you remember... Uh, yeah, when Hussein Robin and that, and that other boy that cried in the ring. Yeah, yeah, they both knocked him out with it. And uh, Riddick Bow, that's one of his best punches, uh, is the overhand right. And there's no way I think uh, Lennox Lewis could get through 12 rounds without getting hit by that. And uh, uh, like I say, yeah, yeah, I think Riddick Bow knocks him out. Uh, Riddick Bow was a good fighter, bro. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think a more interesting fight than Lennox Lewis versus Riddick Bow is Riddick Bow versus Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it, that you talking about a real slug match. Uh, uh, I think the jab would be the difference in that fight. Uh, I think Riddick Bow beats Mike Tyson. Yeah, I think the jab. Oh, man. See, because uh, Mike Tyson fought a lot of fighters. He never fought tall fighters. He, well, 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 bust and bust and knocked them out. So, yeah, he, he never fought a lot of tall fighters with a great jab and power. Uh, so, yeah, I think Riddick Bo going to keep him behind the jab and knock him out uh, somewhere in that fight. Uh, yeah, I think he knocked uh, Tyson the fuck out. And, uh, yeah, could Tyson fold whenever he get under pressure? If you ever notice, in all his losses, he folded. And that's why I stand so hard for Wilder. Yeah, 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 let's get back to Wilder. Yeah, even though he was cheating and all this shit, Wilder never folded. Um, he never folded. Uh, yeah, uh, he always said he'd go out on the shield, and, uh, he lived up to everything he said he would do. Even though I think it was some shit in the game. Uh, yeah, he went out on the shield, bro. Uh, Wild is a real, real game dog. It ain't no, yeah, he ain't a pet. Uh, yeah, he, you gotta keep him in that yard, and yeah, yeah, you gotta, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, he wanna work, and uh, yeah, you gotta keep him in that backyard away from folks, and yeah, he, he, he game, yeah, yeah, he one of them dogs you gotta have in the country somewhere. Yeah, Wild a real dog, man. So, yeah, that's why I fucks with him. Uh, and I think he knocks Lennox out. Yeah, I know y'all don't want to hear that. Yeah, I think he knocks him out. Uh, I think he knocks Lennox Lewis out in three rounds. Just like with Frank Bruno. Uh, the right hand going to hit him. Uh, and uh, Lennox Lewis, uh, yeah, I think I think he knocks him out with one punch. A uh, one punch. Uh, kind of like how he knocked out Brazil. You, you know how he kind of how he walked into it. I can see that same thing happening with Lennox. But Lennox is a great fighter. Don't get it twisted. Lennox is a great fighter. Uh, I just don't think. I don't think. And Wilder got the reach advantage. And Lennox, he used to having a reach advantage. So he would have to kind of get get to Wilder. And he's going to run right into that right hand. Uh, yeah, Wilder knocks Lennox the fuck out. Oh, and uh, yeah, I know y'all think I'm being biased. Well, let me just tell you something. 
uh, it's three fighters that I know for sure Wilder can't fuck with. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I'm a I'm a wild I'm a huge Wilder fan, but I know it's three fighters that if they fought three times, I think they beat them three times. Any other fighter, if you fight them three times, I think he's gonna win twice or at least once. Any fighter in history that includes George Foreman, that includes Joe Frazier, that includes uh, whoever else you want to talk about. I told you, I think he knocks out Tyson. He knocks out Lennox. These are the three fighters I don't think he beat three. Uh, if they fight three times, uh, he won't win one. Uh, number one is Ali. Yeah. Uh, number two is uh, Larry Holmes. I don't think he beats Larry Holmes. And I don't think he beats Holyfield. Um, um, uh, with uh, with Ali, we know the footwork, the uh, jab, the head movement. Yeah, and he's going to smother him. Uh, with Larry Holmes, you're talking the best jab of all time. Uh, the footwork, he bounce in and out. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, 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 I don't think he'd be able to land the right hand on Ali or uh, Larry Holmes. And also, I think Holyfield would beat him. Uh, Holyfield would work his way on the inside. And I'm going to be honest, Wilder, that was one of his only flaws. He didn't have a good inside game. So, yeah, Holyfield would beat him on the inside and hit him with some shit. You're hitting with some real hard shit. So them the only three fighters that I can just say for sure will be Wilder. That's how great I see Wilder. And I got to remind y'all of something. See, imagery is a bad son of a bitch. And that's one reason why they fucking with our kids and showing them these gay cartoons and all this weird shit. Yeah, because imagery, once that child sees that, and, and it goes for adults too. When you see things, it's hard to unsee. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that think Fury cheated. But it's something inside you that really think Fury got that kind of power. Because you you know what you saw why to go down so yeah you can't unsee that yeah you may think it me me personally I, I i understand what a devil is and i understand trickery so it's no way you can fool me but to the to the average mind bro all you can say you riding with what but in your mind man he hit water with one punch and he knocked him out so yeah you don't you it's the imagery of it so and and I noticed after that, yeah, a lot of you motherfuckers, y'all, nah, I don't think why well, it took away from his greatness. Even though y'all, a lot of y'all may say he cheated, it took away from his greatness. Cause before the Fury fight, I'm gonna tell you something. You could have asked a lot of these brothers. You think Lennox beat uh Wilder? I don't know. It would have been a own. If you ask people right now, they'll say, "Man, Lennox knocks Wilder the fuck out." Because everybody think, "Oh, Wilder, he fights any of them kind of guys, he gets knocked out." But before the Fury fight, we wouldn't have said that. So yeah, uh, I just wanna want y'all to pay attention to the trickery and and how the media play on you. Yeah, Wilder was real game and uh even. Even though he was cheated, I want y'all to pay attention. How many times did he get up? Did he get up when his legs was gone? When his mind was gone? When he was bleeding from the mouth and his ear drum, he couldn't hear shit. Yeah, and he kept getting... That's my motherfucking type of dog. That's who I'm going to go to war with. That's who I want next to me. I don't want no Lennox Lewis. I want a wild... Lennox Lewis going, I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, yeah, he'll, he'll get to speaking that English shit. Yeah, the, um, uh, you should fight with Wilder. Yeah, Deontay Wilder. Yeah, some shit like that. Lennox soft, bro. He soft. He's soft. He's a softy. And yeah, and, and yeah, he just soft, bro. See, Holyfield was a real alive dog, bro. 